guys, it's Lizzie Sims here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a beautiful day so far. So today I was inspired to do a fall apartment, a fall themed apartment or autumn if you're in the UK. And this is one of the Stone Street apartments. I believe it's number two or three. I, 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 can't, I can't remember, but it's, it's in the top left hand corner if you can see that. It's one of the apartments in Evergreen Harbour, the one that came with Eco Lifestyle and I've just updated it to be the modern version and my goal for this apartment was obviously just to make it very very autumnal themed, very fall themed and I also kind of wanted to fit as many bedrooms slash sims in this build as I possibly could and I think I did quite well. So there are four bedrooms, um, there's a parents room and then there's two rooms that well I kind of imagine one teenage room, one room for a kind of preteen, so a child going on to being a teenager and there's also one toddler room as well and there's also two bathrooms so there's a main bathroom um, which I imagine just the kids use and then there's an ensuite to the parents bedroom um, which you know is probably just for the parents which I think is very nice quite luxurious and I'm surprised I managed to fit as much as I did into this apartment um, because in the past I feel like I haven't really been able to but the um, living room <laughs> dining and the kitchen are kind of all in one it's a very open floor floor plan I really struggle to say that it's a really open floor plan so um, that's the only way I could really fit everything that I wanted to um, into this apartment and it might look a little bit cramped but it all worked for me. Uh, my test sim was able to access everything, the kitchen, the chairs in the dining table and obviously the sofa. Um, so I hope that is also the case if you guys choose to download this apartment on the gallery. Um, hopefully it works for you as well and I also managed to fit like uh, all the toddler stuff, the potty and the high chair as well. Um, I couldn't fit the high chair along the uh, main part of the dining table. It is just kind of at the end of a counter, right? You'll see me do it right at the end. It's just kind of chucked there, but um, I don't know how many people actually use um, the high chairs with the toddlers because from my past experience playing the game, it's really bloody hard to get those toddlers to sit in that high chair. Um, but um, there's also not enough uh, chairs on the dining table to fit all the sims that I imagine living here, but um, there's also some counter space and there's the sofa as well, so I don't think that you would struggle at all. Um, but like I said, my main goal was to make this build very autumnal and Obviously with that I chose to, um, I chose a lot of oranges and brown, brown tones um, all around the apartment. There's some colour variations in the main bedrooms but for the most part I tried to stick with that kind of colour scheme and I wanted to find furniture and decorations that also fit with the fall theme as well and I really really enjoyed doing this apartment it was a lot of fun I also want to do a bigger um, autumnal build as well like a family home or something it just depends on my schedule but that is definitely planned um, I'm also going to be uploading like a uh, tiny fall cottage which I really really enjoyed doing so that will be up next week and I hope you guys do enjoy that one um, I'm just going crazy with all the fall videos because um, I will be uploading my first fall lookbook as well on Thursday so I really hope that you guys enjoy that one as well but this is the first of the four bedrooms this is the bedroom I kind of imagine to be for the child that's aging up into a teen so maybe a preteen a bit of an older child sim um, in reality kind of I don't know 11 12 13 years old maybe um, but they have quite a small room but it's all functional and they have a computer as well or a laptop which is 
quite luxurious for a child or preteen sim, but I thought it would be just a nice thing to put there. Um, they don't have a dresser, but there's plenty of dressers around the house. Um, I didn't manage to fit one in there, but I just wanted to put a computer desk in there instead because it was right by the window and I thought this kid could look out and have a nice view while they do their homework um, or they're just playing on the computer or whatever. I also imagined that that child really liked animals so it's very animal themed um, in there as well but I tried to pick some kind of autumnal colours um, along with the animal theme just to tie in the whole apartment together and this is the family bathroom so again a lot of yellows and oranges but also mixed with blues as I think that um, those colors really go together and here is the teenagers bedroom so I chose um, this wallpaper from um, the paranormal stuff pack I believe it's one of my favorite wallpapers I think it's so pretty and I think it is kind of autumnal as well if you pair it with a lot of oranges and yellows which I did do in this bedroom and I just think it turned out to be a really really pretty teenagers room um, it's quite simply decorated. I tried to add, you know, some activities in here. So there are a few guitars and this teenager also has a, um, a desk with a laptop on it as well. So I thought it wouldn't be really fair if the child sim had a laptop and the teenager didn't. I can imagine that would bring up quite a few arguments. <laughs> so I just thought, that would be the best thing to add and it's just a little desk here and um, what else did I add in this room there's just some artwork um, guitars as a hobby and a dresser as well I did remember a dresser in this in this one and a mirror of course and that is pretty much it for this um, teenager's bedroom I don't think it screams like fully autumnal but I tried to make it um, as in line with the theme as I could but still make it look like a practical teenager's bedroom if that makes sense. But here is the parents ensuite so they don't have a shower tub combo um, or a shower they just have a bath um, but I think that's just a nice luxurious thing for just the parents to have so the um, children's bathroom does have a shower tub combo so the toddler can um, wash and maybe the parents take them into here uh, into their own bathroom to wash as well and this here is the parents bedroom um, so I'm just picking out some wallpaper here so this wallpaper I think is from Realm of Magic and I think it's so pretty and it fits the autumnal theme really well and here I'm just picking out some decorations to kind of fill up the space it's not a huge bedroom by any means so um, I was quite limited to what I could fit in here and I was also really excited to use a lot of different swatches from the massive base game update that we got I'm really glad that they decided to do that I think it's great um, and it makes me excited to do another base game only build see what um, other color schemes I can come up with. I do still think we need some more base game items but um, that'll do for now. <laughs> I won't be too picky um, but here I'm just trying to decide what I want on the walls for the parents bedroom. Um, I decided on this piece of artwork from the cottage living kits, uh, kit pack and this chair from the paranormal stuff pack and I decided to put a um, TV on the wall here which is from Tiny Living just to fill up the space and to have it as just a nice like comfy space a relaxation a relaxing space for the parents because I imagine if they have this many kids in the house in just this small apartment they might go a little bit crazy um, but now I am working on the toddler's room at first I picked out this child's bed but I did swap it out for a toddler's bed but it's very easy to swap um, a bed into that space if you did decide to age up or play with a different type of family in this build. Um, again the room is quite small but I did try and find some 
um, cute decorations and some activities for the toddler to do um, in this room that you know would suit the the theme and would suit them as a toddler and here I just remembered to add the potty and the high chair into the um, other rooms of the apartment but that is pretty much it for this build I just finished off this toddler room and then we are on to the screenshots so I hope you guys did enjoy this one if you did please do like comment and subscribe you can leave any build suggestions or some suggestions lookbook suggestions that you might have for me in the comment section below um, I really like to hear what you guys um, want me to do you can download this build off my gallery and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys Thank you.